First at 5, a man accused of trafficking drugs in the Grand Rapids metro area was back in court today. Antonio Cruz was arrested earlier this month after police found over a kilo of cocaine and an illegally possessed firearm at his home in Wyoming. Grand Rapids Police Department's vice unit also seized nearly $1.2 million in cash from Cruz's home. If Cruz is convicted of his crimes, the cash and vehicles seized would be forfeited to the responding agency. News 8's Megan Bunchman sat down with an assistant prosecutor today to learn more about the civil asset forfeiture process. Megan. Brian Sue, Grand Rapids Police say that the search warrant its vice unit executed earlier this month at Cruz's home in Wyoming recovered the largest amount of cash by the department in recent memory. Now the question is, what happens next to all of that cash? A major drug bust and win for Grand Rapids Police this month. We only deal with the drug side of forfeitures. After a search warrant executed on September 3rd resulted in the arrest of Antonio Cruz, who is accused of playing a pivotal role in the Grand Rapids drug trade. As Cruz's criminal case now makes its way through district court, Ms. Leo Cruz. Kent County Assistant Prosecutor Daniel O'Hare says a forfeiture case of this magnitude is rare. Most of our uh, forfeiture cases are somewhere in the $1,000 to $10,000 range. Um, that's the vast majority of them. We've had a few of them um, in the $100,000 range. Uh, this uh, this most recent case, $1.2 million, is probably the biggest one that I've that I've dealt with in my tenure in the office. In the state of Michigan, the seizing agency would be able to keep and sell all items collected related to drug cases once a suspect is convicted, both criminally and civilly, of his or her crimes. Meaning, if Cruz is found guilty of delivering or manufacturing a controlled substance and or maintaining a drug house, Grand Rapids Police gets to not only keep and auction off the cars related to Cruz's alleged trafficking, but also the nearly $1.2 million in cash found at his home. The seizing agency uh, then takes those assets, they sell them at auction uh, per the statute, and then they're able to retain the proceeds to further police activities. You know, they use it for trainings, they use it to pay officers for overtime, they use it to buy new equipment. If the defendant is found not guilty, all assets are returned. Now, typical drug cases like this one can take about a year to get through trial while the initial drug bust was made at Cruz's home in Wyoming. I am told that Grand Rapids Police Department has first right on seizing all of those items related to this case because it was their vice unit that conducted the bust. Brian.